Dear fellow Vixelologists, welcome to BC's Fresh Flags, with your boy, BC. We can all agree that Hong Kong has a lot of unrest now, right? It has definitely changed a lot since my family left, and part of that includes the flag falling out of favour. Lately, Hong Kong has given birth to a popular localist movement to celebrate local culture with mass rallies, the creation of a Hong Kong anthem, and the success of localist political parties. Yet the flag of Hong Kong is missing from these celebrations, as the locals have a point of avoiding it. Hong Kongers are more likely to vandalize the symbol, fly corrupted versions, or just fly flags of other places. Can you think of any other place where locals expressing their identity will intentionally not use their own flag? Here's why. Hong Kong was once governed by the British, and it flourished as a centre of international trade, with residents enjoying standards of living and freedoms not found anywhere on the Chinese mainland. In 1997, Hong Kong had to be handed over to China and became a special administrative region. This means it's a territory of China, but has a high degree of autonomy to ensure its prosperity and freedoms. To mark the handover, Hong Kong got a new flag which was designed under strict oversight from the central Chinese government. To get approved, it had to include some elements from the flag of China. And by some, I mean all of them. It directly includes the red field and the five stars, which act like a stamp of ownership. It was never meant as a flag of Hong Kong itself. It was meant as a flag of Hong Kong as part of China. Emphasis on part of China. Nowadays, Hong Kongers see the Chinese government like an abusive parent, and the Hong Kong government as their puppet. I'm talking erosion of freedoms, police brutality, extrajudicial detentions, and more. Last year, millions of people protested against these abuses. The biggest protest drew almost 2 million people, about a quarter of the population, who stormed the Legislative Council building, and the Hong Kong flag was nowhere to be seen. The equivalent would be 88 million Americans on the streets all at once, occupying the Capitol building, and not a single one using the American flag. So this is why Hong Kongers hate their own flag. They don't even feel that it is their own flag. They feel that it was imposed from above by the oppressive Chinese government, it doesn't represent them, and it's only the flag of the Hong Kong government. So what flag do the localists fly now? They all express a single identity, the genuine spirit of the Hong Kong people. But there's a gap here, because there's no flag for this. Some try to use the British colonial flag, but this is just to make a statement, they don't actually want to adopt this. And this is still Hong Kong defined as part of something else, just like the current flag. Some try to use a protest flag without the red and stars, but this is Hong Kong defined as what it's not. What about a flag of Hong Kong itself? Just Hong Kong? Your boy BC has the answer. Here's a fresh flag for Hong Kong. It's simple enough for a child to remember, but distinctive enough to recognize. This flag includes symbolism from three sources. The blue and the disc are from the British colonial flag, the flower is from the current flag, and the stylized umbrellas are from local symbolism. The blue represents the Pacific Ocean and international trade. The white disc represents the nickname Pearl of the Orient. The flower represents the Bohinia, which is native to Hong Kong and is the only local element on the current flag. The red, white and blue represents the Union Jack and British culture. The red represents Chinese culture and the direction of South. The umbrellas represent local culture and the popular democratic umbrella movement. There are multiple umbrellas united at the centre, suggesting that Hong Kong has many different people united in spirit. This flag gives Hong Kongers a beautiful way to celebrate their true local identity because it elegantly combines all kinds of local symbolism. In the same way that the new Glory to Hong Kong anthem filled the gap of expressing the Hong Kong spirit musically, this flag fills the gap of expressing the Hong Kong spirit visually. So what do you think? If you want to express Hong Kong's local symbolism and support this channel, you can get yourself some merchandise on Redbubble. You can also check out my blog post, which has more details like mockups and exact specifications. Links are in the description below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time on BC's Fresh Flags.